pizza actually might be ready. Yummy, yummy pizza. Yeah, I'm probably going to be like the weirdest dude you've ever met on YouTube. Well, actually, I don't know. This is YouTube. There is a bunch of strange people on YouTube. And I'm one of them. I swore to the rescue. Oh my god, I might be able to get the clip out. Magazine, my bad magazine. Not a clip. I'm forgetting my military terms. Unluckily, you did not get to see me, like, so unjustly rip that apart. I'm guessing you just sort of pour it in there and then... It's a nice little crank. Pizza might be ready, like I've been saying for like the past. Yeah, it is ready. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Let's see if I can actually get this thing unboxed and show you, David. What the heck it's all about. Oh, that's the thing that locks it in place. Oh. That's pretty cool. I have a hand grip. And a clip. Back to the main course. Yeah, um. I got this gun. Really? For a school project, so... You're wondering, what the heck would you need an airsoft gun for a school project? Well, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you, it's about shooting a falling target. And everyone in our honors physics class got the question wrong, and... Well, we, we feel like we had it right. So, I'm challenging the nice scientific community that's more than likely right. Yeah. Dang gum. I am tearing this apart. Shoot. Yeah, some of this might go off camera and yeah, don't get pissed off. It's not like this is a good quality review anyways. It's just me ripping a nice gun out of a box. I probably should probably call that this. True unboxing. Oh, I, I guess it's not unboxing. Uncontainering. Oh, shoot. Did I cut a wire? Oh, no. Ow. That kind of hurt. Let's see if I can get it out. Um, uh, no. Well, that's nice to know. Alright. probably can get this out and then go eat pizza. Thank you, David, for watching. If you actually watch this far into this incredibly lame video. I don't even know if I'm supposed to reveal his name or not. I don't know if he wanted to be called Anonymous. <gasps> Anonymous! Actually, would not be surprised if you cannot hear me right now. OMG, I'm about to have it out. Maybe without breaking it. Ow, that did hurt. I just stabbed myself. Yeah, totally. You can see everything that's going on. No. I feel so good. I'm letting you people on YouTube see so little. You YouTubians. YouTubians. <gasps> I 
I'm sure that term was coined as a Please do not sue me for copyrights on YouTube. OMG, I got it out. IDK, if you, I don't know if you can actually see the weapon all the way, or even me with the weapon. It's got a nice sight system. I probably want to paint that black so I can actually kind of see that. Yeah, this is weapon. Some of you said the stock was kind of not right. I think this stock is just right. Oh wow, there's the hop up. That some reviews would say. I guess you could find a much better review than mine. The hop up is sort of like in there. I don't even know if you can see that. Because uh, the little iPod is leaning against iPhone. It's leaning against the back of bullets. But really, this was just to be a video of me taking the thing out of the box. Oh wow, the handle grip. Feels really nice. There's it with the clip. When it kind of gained a much a lot of weight right there. I wonder if I could unscrew this. That would be pretty neat. Oh wow, you can. You can unscrew the little handle. Probably put your nice little scope or something up there. Two, two. Oh my god, I feel so much like SWAT. All right, and finally, the pretty little hand grip that everyone loves. Makes it feel like a Nerf gun. No. It feels like a freaking airsoft gun. I haven't shot it. Uh, I probably have to shoot it tomorrow because I have to sight it in for the project. Don't even know if y'all can see my face. I I'm just guessing you can. So, yeah. They're nice little switches. There's the nice little There's the switch, safe, full, put him back to safe. Uh, I don't quite like handles myself, so whenever I go to fight, I'm probably not going to use the handle. I'll probably like carry it with me. The sight can um, flip. I'm not even, even sure if y'all can see that. Yeah, y'all are going to be like turned sideways, and the whole thing is upside down. So if you would like... Turn your heads upside down right now. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder if I could do that. <gasps> OMG. Yeah. So, y'all just got like totally flipped upside down, and I'm so sorry if it makes you throw up. But I don't really care. Yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna do good. I don't know. It holds like 300 bullets or so. Well, what the heck, yo. There's this big lumpy thing right here. I'm not sure what that is, and I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be on the gun. I, I don't even know if it should be or should not be, but that sure does not meet up with M4s and other automatic weapons. But uh, yeah, this has been the nice true unboxing of the... Well, I haven't got the battery and everything out, as you might be able to see right now. Maybe. And, uh, yeah, but this has been the true unboxing. Literally, you watch me unbox the thing. Uncontainer it. Of the DPMS Panther Arms A17 RIS Full Stock. Full Stock. Thing. Yeah, it has a little nice... Thing that flips open your this down here. Uh, I'm guessing this is side adjustments. Up, down, up, down. Um, there's the nice. Here's a nice. Not probably nice. Probably really crappy. Sling the battery. Some probably crappy BBs. Uh, and the nice charger. That's not a smart charger. So it's oh more than five hours. No more than five hours. Hmm. Do not charge overnight. Hmm, I wonder why. Because it'll destroy your battery. Um, bye, YouTube. After I probably spin the iPhone around.